All right, welcome everybody to Algebra Review with Mr. Tui. Uh, today we're going to be focusing on combining like terms, some of the basics of algebra. Uh, we've got Abby with us. Say hello to everybody, Abby. Hello, everybody. Thank you, Abby. You're awesome. Um, so kind of the inspiration for, for this video and what we're working on today, I've had a number of students reach out to me that are like, Mr. Tui, I love your courses um, and uh, you're helping me find the right answer on these tests. That's fantastic. But what about algebra class? Like, what happens if I'm in an algebra two class or pre-calculus class or a college algebra class? I gotta know how to do the algebra operations to get ready for that class. And, uh, and so that's kind of what I wanna focus on today, some of the basics of algebra. If you've always struggled with algebra, always hated algebra, never understood, never understood what to do with variables, any of that stuff, then this is a video for you. Let's start here. Um, if some of the stuff at the beginning of the video is a little basic for you, you can go ahead and do, go to a later part of the video and also be on the lookout for some uh, later videos in the series that are going to cover some more advanced concepts. But I want to start with the foundation of algebra, and that's here. We're, we're talking about dealing with variables and combining like terms. So I've got a question up on the screen here. Really, it's just an expression, which is uh, 2x plus 5x. You see that on your screen, Abby? Yes, sir. All right. Let's talk about combining those like terms. Do you have... Do you have any idea how to add those two terms together? Um, you just add the numbers, and then you put the x at the end. Yeah, that's it, right? You just add. These are called the coefficients. I want to clarify that. The coefficients are the numbers in front of the variables. And if you have like terms, and let me clarify that too, what I mean by like terms. That is to say we've got an x here in this term and an x here in this term. Okay? We can combine the coefficients in front of those variables. And like, what is that going to be, Abby? Seven. Seven. Not just seven, though. You're, you're, you're right. The coefficient. Oh, seven. Right. I thought you were just adding. That. Yeah, okay. yeah. You're seven right. x. It's going to be seven x. Absolutely right. Because you add the coefficients in front of the variables and then just leave the variable there. Okay. Does that make mm -hmm. some sense? Yes, sir. Now, this wouldn't work if it was like two x plus five x squared, right? You might be like, mm -hmm. but there's an x in both those. Well, still, x is not the same as x squared, so those are not like terms. It also wouldn't work mm -hmm. if it was 2x plus 5y, right? Because x and y aren't like terms. But if you see like terms, that is, you see like 2x's or 2x squareds or 3x squareds for that matter, then you can combine, uh, if you're adding those terms, then you add the coefficients and then just leave the variable. And that's kind of the general strategy. Does that make some sense, Abby? Yes, sir. Okay, good. All right, we're going to keep rolling with this. And I've got a new expression that we're going to practice combining like terms with. All right, this one here, 2x plus x. Abby, do you know how to combine those two? Well, first of all, can we combine these terms? Let's start there. Yes, sir. Yeah, we can, right? We've got an x in both of these. These are like terms. We can definitely combine those. Do you know how mm -hmm. to combine those? Yes, it will be 2x plus 1x. Absolutely, yeah. There's an implied one here. I love it. There's an implied one in front of the x. And I want to make that really clear for anybody that's not familiar with this. x is the same as 1 times x, right? Because anything times one is itself. So there's an implied one. So when you're adding the coefficients, you've got to add the two to the implied one. And that gives us, what does that give us again, Abby? Uh, three x. Three x. Absolutely. Any questions about that? No, sir. Okay. Okay. But those are indeed like terms. Just make sure to look out for that implied one. If you see a variable just by itself, let's keep rolling. I'm going to bump up the difficulty level a little bit. Okay. Not too much, though. Don't worry. All right. Let's try this one. This is 12x plus 10x plus x. Do we have like terms here? Yes, sir. Absolutely, right? We've got these three terms with x's. Uh, let's add those up. Do you know what that's going to equal? That'll be 23x, correct? 20, absolutely, right? Because it's just 12 plus 10 plus that implied one. Don't forget that implied one in front of a variable that's by itself. And that gives us 23 X. Any questions about that, Abby? No, sir. Awesome. Awesome. Let's keep rolling. Uh -huh. So far, we've been doing just addition. We got a little subtraction here. This is 5x minus 2x. Do you know how to combine those like terms? Yeah, so it would just be three x. Yeah, it's just three x, right? Because now here, of course, it's it's not addition; it's subtraction. So you're just subtracting these two terms. It's just five 
minus two, but once again, the variable stays the same. So that gives us three X. Any questions, Abby? No, sir. Okay, good, good. We're rocking and rolling here. Let's try. There's the yawn. I've got some coffee here. Keep me, keep me awake. <laughs> Good. Uh, so this is 7x minus x. What's that going to equal, Abby? 6x. 6x, absolutely, right? Because that's that implied 1 again. You're just subtracting 7 minus 1. Again, if this is really obvious to you, uh, you know, go and check out one of the later videos in the Algebra Review series. But if you don't know how to do this, you're not going to be able to isolate variables or solve equations or anything like that. So you've got to have this basic skill down, so that's why we're spending some time on it. But you're doing great, Abby. That is indeed success. Thank you. All right. Let's do the next one. This one a little bit trickier. Let's go through this step by step here. We got 12x minus 10x plus x plus x. Do you have any idea what that's going to be? Let's see. So 12x minus 10x is 2x yes. plus 2x, so 4x? This could be 4x, absolutely. 4x. That's it. Once again, we've got like terms here in X. And then don't forget those implied ones in front of the X's. 12 minus 10 is 2. Plus 1 plus 1 is 4. That's 4X. Four Just leave the X there. A lot of students would you know look at look at something like this, maybe think that, oh, there's 4X there, so it's it's 4X to the power of 4. That's not how it works. Again, if you're adding or subtracting like terms, you just leave the variable there, and that's it. So, all right. Simple as that. I think so. All right, Abby, we got X plus Y here. How do we combine those terms? You cannot. You cannot combine those terms. So glad, right? You can't really do anything with that, right? A lot of students want to make that like X, Y or something. Like, oh, you can't do that. X mm -mm. plus Y, these are not like terms. You can't do anything with that. The, the way to simplify that, well, is, well, to not. It's just X plus Y. There's nothing else you can do with that. Is that pretty clear? Mm -hmm. Yes. Sir. Excellent. What about this guy right here? Ooh. Uh-huh. Right? Do we have like terms here? Let's start there. Yes, because, well, hmm, I don't really know. <laughs> yeah, that's, I appreciate your honesty there, Abby. Uh, well, I mean, look, you know, before where we had like, you know, 2x plus 3x, are those like terms? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, right? Because you have an x here and an x here. So they're the same. Mm -hmm. Do we have... An X and an X. Yes. Mm, I mean, well, we, we do. Have, not really. We have an X and an XY. An XY. So no. So no, we don't have like terms here. Yeah, it's a little bit tricky, right? Because you see, I mean, mm -hmm. there is I, an X yeah. there. I know there's two X's. I see, you know. Yeah. I get it, right? But like, this is not X. But not. That's it's XY. Not. You can't do anything with that. It's already in the most simplified form. It's just X plus XY. It's the exact same. Does that make sense, Abby? Yes, sir. So be on the lookout for that. We'll talk about multiplication coming up here in just a minute. Multiplication is going to be a little bit different. But uh, they've got to be the exact same. If you're adding or subtracting terms with the same variable, they've got to be the exact same terms. Mm -hmm. I some... thought so. I yeah. Just... <laughs> it's, it's been a while. It's been a while, right? It's the end of summer here. I, I, get mm -hmm. it. I get it. All right. So what about this one here? Now, we've got some multiplication going on. We've got 2x mm -hmm. times x. Can we combine these terms? Yes, sir. What is that going to equal? Well, we can multiply them. <laughs> yeah, we multiply them. Right? Um, that'll be 2x squared? It is 2x squared. Absolutely. It's 2x squared. Okay. Now think about why that is, right? Uh, mm -hmm. You know, x times x is what? Uh, x squared. X squared, right? Because that's what this squared exponent means, right? If you see something squared, it means it's being multiplied by itself. Mm -hmm. So uh, that just becomes x squared. And then the two, I mean, you're just leaving the two there, right? I mean, yeah, this, the implied one. It, well, I mean, it just, you're just leaving. I mean, there's nothing, you, you can't combine that with the x in, in any way other than putting mm. it right next to it, right? The, yeah. the multiplication it's just is by implied itself. right there. Yeah, it's implied. But that's just 2x squared. So when you're multiplying yeah. variables, uh, you know, you can deal with powers, right? If you're sort of combining those, those terms. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, if we had 2x times 2x, that may, you know, that may be one of the next questions coming up. I'm not quite sure. That's where you would combine the 2s right there mm -hmm. and be 4x squared. But uh, but just here, it's just the x and the x that you can combine when you're multiplying. All right. 
Yeah, I think you need uh, you need some coffee. Do you drink coffee, Abby? Have we discussed this before? Uh, I've had coffee today. <laughs> yeah, okay. You need more. You need more. I, right, yep. All right, let's try this one here. And this is a little bit what we were talking about uh, in the last mm-hmm. problem. So what is this equal? 6x squared. Yeah, it's going to be 6x squared. We can combine the 2 and the 3. Those are just integers, whole numbers. Right, so we can multiply those. This is all multiplication here. It gives us 6, and then the x and the x gives us x squared. Therefore, 6x squared. Any questions about that, Abby? No, sir. Okay, good. We are flying through this. This is good. I thought this might be taking a little longer, but we are going to get through nah. all these pretty quickly. I think you got this. All right. Ooh, okay. This is a little trickier. I am bumping up the difficulty level here. This is 4x squared times 5x to the power of 3. Do you have any mm-hmm. idea how to combine this, how to simplify this? This will be 20x to the fifth power. Oh, yeah. Excellent, right? Excellent. So we've got these two mm-hmm. integers we can combine here, the 5 and, and, and the 4. Multiply, that's going to be 20. So we've got that covered. And then this throws students off a little bit, right? And we're multiplying x squared times x to the power of 3. A lot of students get intimidated mm-hmm. by that. But don't worry about, like, what to do. I mean, technically what to do is you're going to add the exponents here. You're going to add the 2 and the 3, and that's going to be your new exponent. But just think about what it means to square something, right? To square something we've talked about, it means to multiply by itself. So x squared Mm -hmm. just means x times x. And then x to the power of 3 means what, Abby? What does that mean? Oh, wait. What was the question? What does x to the power of 3 mean? Just x to the power of 3 means three times x X times x times x exactly x multiplied by itself three times that's x times x times x how many times are we multiplying x here five five times therefore it's x to the power of five so it's 20 x to the power of five any questions about that abby no sir okay you got it you got it i think i've got just one more here in this problem set Ooh. This one's a little bit ugly here. A little bit ugly. Oh, goodness. All right. So we've got 2x squared times 3x to the power of 4 times 2 times uh, y squared times y. What in the heck? How do we, how do, we do this? Let's, let's go part by part here. What's the integer mm-hmm. value going to be, right? We've got three integers here, three whole numbers we can multiply. Mm-hmm. What's that going to be? It would be, let's see, so 12. Yeah, so that's going to be 12. We've got those covered. We've got some X's we can combine. On mm-hmm. multiplication here. Six. Yeah, X to the power of six. And then the Y's. Mm-hmm. So when you write it, when you write it like that, or, well, hmm. Just You're a little bit confused, right? Are you a little bit confused because you don't see an exponent? Is that what's freaking you out a little bit with the Y's? I mean, I don't know. I just don't know how you put all this together, I guess. Yeah. Answer. Well, like, so we've got we, we've got everything covered except the Y's. Is that clear? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. There's three Y's. There's three Y's being multiplied. Mm-hmm. So what is that going to equal? So this is just 12X to the sixth power with well, Y... Uh, cubed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. With y cubed or y to the power of three, same thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's it. You knew it. You knew it. Awesome. Yeah. Any questions about that, Abby? No, sir. Okay, good. That's all I got right now for combining like terms. Um, uh, in the next video, we'll be covering um, uh, let's see, isolating variables and solving equations. So, but again, you need these skills here if you're going to uh, if you're going to be able to to solve for equations. So. Hopefully this gave you a good foundation on combining like terms with adding, subtracting, and multiplying variables, and uh, be on the lookout for some more algebra review videos coming out very soon. Thank you, Abby. You're welcome. (laughs) I'll see you soon. (laughs) Bye.